find the positive integer n such that arc tangent of one third plus arc tangent of one fourth plus arc tangent of one fifth plus arc tangent of one over n is pi over four. So there exists a positive integer n such that this thing evaluates the pi over four. I think that's fascinating on its own. But how do you even find it? I'm not sure where to go right away, but we know pi over four is arc tangent of one. So we are adding bunch of arc tangents together, and in the end, we want to get arc tangent one. So you may think of trying to find some equation that allows us to evaluate arc tangent of x plus arc tangent of y. Because if we know equation that allows us to add arc tangent of x plus arc tangent of y to get arc tangent of who knows, some expression in terms of x and y, then we can add up the left side of this equation step by step, and we should be able to find the answer. But how do we find this equation? How can we add up arc tangent of x and arc tangent of y? Well, even if we aren't really sure about how to add up the arc tangents, we know how to evaluate a very similar expression, tangent of a plus b. This is pretty close to arc tangent, so you may say maybe we can find this equation by using the relationship between arc tangent and tangent. So we know tangent of a plus b is tangent of a plus tangent of b over 1 minus tangent of a tangent of b. And you may say let's let x be tangent of a and let's let y be tangent of b because if we let x and y be such, then we know a is arc tangent of x we know a is arc tangent of x because x is tangent of a, and we know b is arc tangent of y because y is tangent of b. So we have this equation in which we have arc tangent of x plus arc tangent of y. So you may say, let's take arc tangent of both sides. So let's take arc tangent of both sides to cancel out tangent and arc tangent, and we should have a plus b or arc tangent of x plus arc tangent y is equal to arc tangent of tangent of a which is x and plus tangent of b which is y over 1 minus x times y. So we now have this equation that allows us to sum up arc tangent of x and arc tangent of y. We do have to be careful though because arc tangent of something, because arc tangent of something is always between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 by definition. Or stated in degrees, we know arc tangent is always between 90 degrees and negative 90 degrees. But if you look at this, we have arc tangent of something. So we know this entire thing, because it's arc tangent of something, is between negative 90 and 90 degrees by definition. But if you look at the left side, arc tangent of x can be, who knows, 60 degrees, and arc tangent of y can be 60 degrees, then this entire thing is 120 degrees, which is not allowed. And you may say, what's wrong? Well, when arc tangent of x is 60 and arc tangent of y is 60, this, this right side is going to output negative 30 degrees, because if you think about it, Negative 30 degrees and 120 degrees have the same tangent because they have the same slope. So negative 30 degrees and 120 degrees have the same tangent. So the right side, because arc tangent has to be always between negative 90 and 90, is going to output minus 30. So in this case, we have to do plus 180 degrees or plus pi to, to correct this error. So really, to be technical, this equation should be like this. So we, technically, this equation should say arc tangent of x, arc tangent of x plus arc tangent of y is arc tangent of x plus y over one minus x plus y, or arc tangent of x plus y over one minus x y plus or minus pi, depending on the situation. So, so the main point I want to make is if this thing, if this left side is between negative ninety and ninety degrees, so if arc tangent of x plus arc tangent of y is between these two, then we have the equality. We don't need any correction factor. But if arc tangent of x plus arc tangent of y is greater than pi over 2, then we have to use the correction factor plus pi. And if arc tangent of x plus arc tangent of y is less than pi over 2, we have to use the correction factor negative pi. 
I just wanted to point that out. But in this case, as you're about to see, we're not going to need any correction factor for this particular problem and I'll show you why. So knowing this equation, let's go back up. So we have arc tangent to one third plus arc tangent to one fourth. And if you think about it, this is arc tangent to one, 45 degrees or pi over four. So arc tangent to one third and arc tangent to one fourth are going to be below it. So we know this angle is arc tangent to one third, and you know the angle below is arc tangent to one fourth. And if you think about it, the only way we are going to need the correction factor is if arc tangent to x plus arc tangent to y is greater than 90 degrees. But if you look at it, obviously, because arc tangent to one third and arc tangent to one fourth are both less than 45 degrees, adding them up is not going to get us a number greater than 90. So we don't have to worry about the correction factor, at least for the first one. So let's add them up. So we know arc tangent of x plus arc tangent of y is arc tangent of x plus y over 1 minus x times y. So this thing, the first part, is going to be arc tangent of 1 third plus 1 fourth over 1 minus 1 third times 1 fourth, which is if you multiply by 12 to top and bottom, arc tangent of 7 over 11, right? Because you're going to have 4 plus 3 and you're going to have 12 minus 1 when you multiply top and bottom by 12. So that's one way of evaluating it. And what do we do next? Now we're going to add up arc tangent of 7 over 11 and arc tangent of 1 fifth. And you may say, is this going to need a correction factor? Well, no, because this is arc tangent of 1. And obviously 7 over 11 and 1 fifth are both less than 1. So 7 over 11 and 1 fifth are both less than 1. So we know these two angles are not going to be more than 90 because each of them are less than 45 degrees. So we don't need the correction factor once again. So now let's add it up. So when we add arc tangent of 7 over 11 and arc tangent of 1 over 5, we get arc tangent of 7 over 11 plus 1 fifth over 1 minus 7 over 11 times 1 fifth, which is if you multiply top and bottom by 55, arc tangent of 35 plus 11 over 55 minus 7, also known as arc tangent of 46 over 48 or 23 over 24. So now all we have to do is add this to arc tangent of 1 over n. And once again, because 23 over 24 is less than 1 and 1 over n is less than 1, we don't need the correction factor. So we don't have to worry about plus or minus pi, but I wanted to point it out because it's educational. So all we have to do now is to add arc tangent of 1 over n, which is going to get us arc tangent of 23 over 24 plus 1 over n over 1 minus 23 over 24 times 1 over n. And if you multiply top and bottom by 24 times n, you're going to get arc tangent of 23n plus 24 over 24n minus 23. And what do we know? We know all of this has to be pi over 4 or arc tangent of 1. So we know this thing is arc tangent of 1. So you know this entire thing is 1. So we know 23n plus 24 over 24n minus 23 is 1. And from here it's extremely easy. 23n plus 24 is 24n minus 23 or n is equal to 47. So finally, we have arrived at the answer, 47. This was a pretty fun problem, working through it step by step, and we know the positive integer n is 47, or because it's Amy, we have to write the leading zero. So 047 is the final answer.